Hello everyone, Cardis here once again, bringing you the first tutorial ever for a Young Gamers Illustrated Primer. Although I suppose technically all of the primers are tutorials, so interpret that however you want. Uh, the purpose of this tutorial specifically is going to be a furnace spiral, which I've never seen anybody else build. If you know someone who built it before me, please let me know. I'll shove a massive link in front of the entire video saying go here because they beat me to it. Uh, however, uh, until I'm, I'm made aware of something like that, uh, building this thing is actually pretty straightforward. You need first a 5x5 five five area, but you're probably going to want these edges extended, so making it 6x6 six six is probably ideal. Uh, the reason is that you can't well, let me just show you. If you place a furnace and then you right-click on it, you don't place another furnace. So uh, these things are mostly going to be for scaffolding. Um, if you want, you can even just make this as tall as you need it to be. Uh, this this structure itself that I'm making is nine blocks high total. So uh, keep that in mind. What have we got there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and nine so I think I'm actually gonna frame this whole thing in and then I'll be right back alright everyone and we're back um, as you can see I'm at y equals 85 and I've decided to give this little platform a bit of orientation much like you would probably have in a real world so you, the idea is you come in and immediately before you are lots and lots of furnaces um, with the first two in front, you'll need something like this, and uh, the reason is to stop the water. Okay? Uh, there's going to be water above this sign, so uh, that's one design challenge you have to just keep in mind, and I'm going to reorganize this slightly. Alright, better. And then, basically, you just stick as many furnaces as you can in here without going too crazy and I think that works beautifully like that um, right here I think I I think I turned it so the the main annoying thing about this build isn't so much actually assembling the uh, Oh, fail. Isn't so much uh, assembling the furnaces, it's just making sure you don't screw up when you're trying to place them. Because, like I said, it can be kind of annoying. But, not that annoying. Um, you will occasionally need to do something along these lines just to uh, make it uh, more reasonable. And uh, also, at points, you're going to end up doing that. So do keep that in mind. Uh, you will occasionally be deviating from your standard build here. But really, uh, especially if you do this scaffolding, this is like easy as pie. You can just... And this is definitely how I should have built it. I kind of did it impromptu. I started with a 5x5 five five and went from there, but uh, definitely building the scaffolding like this is the way to go. Um, the only thing you need to keep in mind is that you will need, at, at one point or another, uh, a return chute, if you will, that'll let you down. So uh, that's the purpose of this thing. Um, these, I believe I accomplished using... hold on, bam. Using half slabs on top, so I did something along these lines that we can... Uh, how did I do that? I just did a full block there and that's where your water's gonna rest so that you can quick drop here without repeatedly damaging yourself and uh, thinking about it I kind of want some glowstone. Where is my beautiful glowstone? Here we go, and uh, it's probably worth your time to pick some some blocks like glowstone that you can use 
as a uh, as a source of lighting. Oh boy, I was gonna do that. That's right. It has to be. So maybe something like every other block you would have glowstone in place of you know whatever other stone you happen to have. Uh, that way lighting will never be an issue. Um, the good news is this is a very compact build and compact builds have the benefit of uh, minimal uh, lighting issues because there are very few places for the monsters to spawn. If you do build um, some weird scaffolding like this, you can you can leave these empty as long as you put a single, you know, torch piece of glowstone back here. Now, you don't want mobs like spawning back here and growling at you. That would just get annoying. But uh, the the main idea for all of them except this one is that the furnaces. Ooh, nasty. The furnaces are too high, and then you go left and you do it as needed until you hit the top here. So it's pretty pretty simple build, but figure I like tutorials, so I may as well make one. Um, doing this one's a bit annoying. I think I did it like that. Oh yes. And how could I forget? This is actually a furnace. And then the water goes back in here. So uh, don't make that mistake. Make this a furnace the first time around. Oh, and probably don't need all that. But um, placing these can be annoying, but usually what I'll do for these guys is go just like that. And you want it facing left here. Alright. Almost done. It's a pretty quick build. Um, doesn't take a whole lot of time. Uh, one thing you do have to keep it... Ooh. I hate... Like, I, think, I swear they changed this and made it worse. That's what it feels like to me. But, uh... Bam. Last two furnaces. Okay. Um... There are a couple of things that you'll want to keep in mind. Uh, first off, let's just do that for looks, but you don't want to put a furnace here because it makes this take longer and uh, you probably don't need that one extra furnace. Uh, I would rather be able to get up here and then fall back down as quickly as possible rather than have the one extra furnace. So. Uh, if you want an extra furnace there, you know, it's your world, I can't stop you, but I think this makes more sense. At least it makes more sense to me. Um, one other thing is uh, you do have to have an exit somewhere. Um, the good news is it doesn't have to have to exit like mine does. How mine goes out, it you know, kind of comes into a little staircase like this. Um, that isn't necessary. You can have it come, like, back around, so to speak, and then maybe, like, break the surface here. Would that work? Uh, not really. But you could have it, you know, double back and break surface, like, right here, for example might not be so bad and then you could either use regular stairs or uh, half slabs at your discretion here bam but yeah that's a pretty simple build and uh, I'm just gonna load it up and give it a quick test run so be right back okay guys here we go just a quick test run to show you how it goes so the idea is you just shift click your items straight into the furnace and uh, thank god they made this possible not being able to shift click into furnaces was really like driving me crazy but they have since corrected that so there's nothing to complain about and uh, it's probably worth mentioning you could make this taller but uh, the idea is that you only use small stacks 
of whatever it is you're cooking. That way uh, you can just get it all done in a very short amount of time, you know, instead of having to, like, brew 64 stacks and then wait for it all. Uh, with this, you can brew a large number of smaller stacks like I'm doing right here, and it works out just fine. Um, do keep in mind that a piece of coal and or charcoal takes, uh, or it, it has enough cooking power for eight charges of whatever it is you're cooking. So uh, do keep that in mind while you're deciding how much charcoal to put in. Uh, multiples of eight are ideal, and that's not quite right, but I'll make it. Hooray! And now if we come back down, yep, we had eight left. So normally you'd want to do this with stacks of eight things, and uh, yeah. It, it won't actually make your your smelting create more blocks, but it will allow you to smelt a large number of blocks in a quicker amount of time. Um, that was a pretty near perfect run in terms of my shift clicking. Um, there might be some... oh, I missed one. Well, huh, okay, never mind. But uh, uh, there are some minor design problems with it, like for example if you have a block in here and you try to right click this furnace but your mouse is like right there bam you got a block and you're screwed uh, it doesn't matter so much with wood but if you do it with like an iron block you're just screwed again so uh, keep that in mind um, also if you have a really bad computer you might want to turn particle effects off because having all of these furnaces going probably is bad for you mm. I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, it's a pretty simple design, actually. I'm surprised I haven't seen one of these before. It, uh, it all makes sense to me. So, anyways, uh, a new day is dawning. It was nighttime when I started this. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Give it a thumbs up and link it to everybody that you know if you like it. Because, uh, I don't know, I, like, I really do believe this is the fastest way to get your smelting done. At least in terms of getting it all done. Um, you could extend this uh, significantly and design it for a 64 block smelting process. Um, I might try a tutorial on that a little bit later, but uh, in my world right now I don't need a large scale like 64 block multiple furnace rooms. That'd probably be like 160 furnaces or something crazy. So. Yeah, not today, but maybe in the future. Anyways, this will be Cardis signing off.